Welcome back. This is going to be our video for question number three in our sequence quiz review. Simon lost his library card and has an overdue book, library book. When the book was five days late, he owed $2.25 to replace his library card and pay the fine for the overdue book. When the book was 21 days late, he owed $6.25 to replace his library card and pay the fine for the overdue book. Suppose the total amount Simon owes when the book is n days late can be determined by an arithmetic sequence. Determine a formula a sub n, the nth term of the sequence. So that's the first thing we're going to do. So let's lay out in this case, we know that after n being number of days, a, a of 5, n equals number of days, So A of 5 is equal to $2.25. And after 21 days, he owes $6.25. Well, <clears throat> to find the nth term, we're definitely going to be using our formula. A sub n is equal to A1 plus n minus 1 times d. But we can still use this same formula to figure out, hopefully to figure out what the a1 and d values are so we can figure out the general formula. Now, we know for a when n equals 5, a of 5 is equal to 225, $2.25. And that's equal to a1 plus 5 minus 1 times d. We also know that a21 is equal to $6.25. And that's equal to a1 plus 21 minus 1 times d. So we have a system of equations here. We can take 625 equals a1 plus 20d. And then take $2.25 equals a1 plus 4d. And in this system of equations, we can just subtract downwards. We would get, in this case, $4 on the left side is equal to, we see the A1 values cancel out, and we get 16D. Well, that means D would equal to $4. I'm going to make 400 cents, a little easier for me, divide by 16. And that's equal to 25. I'm probably going to need a little space here, too. So I'm going to move this question down a little bit. OK. So now we know what d is equal to. Well, now that we know what d is equal to, we can pick any of these. Oh, by the way, that'd be 25 cents. So because $4.25. So we can use that for to replace back into any of the equations. And so we'll pick out, in this case, A5. So we'll take $2.25 equals A1 plus 5 minus 1 times 0.25. Here, we get $2.25 is equal to A1 plus 4 times 0.25, or in this case, <clears throat> 225 equals A1 plus $1. Subtracting a dollar from both sides, we're going to get A1 to equal to, it looks like, $1.25, because subtracted 225 minus 1. So now that we have, in this case, we have our D value and we have our A1 value. We can go back here and substitute into our formula. 
a sub n is equal to a dollar twenty five plus n minus one times point two five. We distribute the point two five and we'll get a sub n equals point two five n plus one twenty five minus point two five which would mean in this case a sub n equals 0.25n plus 1. Well, $1, 1 dollar, 1.00 if you want to. And this is the formula. This is the formula we're going to use. That's the answer to the first part. That's the nth term in the sequence. Again, point is a decimal. Sorry, my decimals are a little weird here. Oops. It should be purple. So 0.25n plus 1. So we continue with this question, and it says here, use the formula to determine the amount of money Simon needs to pay when the book is six days late. And so when 60 days late, a of 60 would equal to 0 0.25 times 60 plus 1. Well, We'll just take a 0.25 times 60, right? And we'll get 15. So after 60 days, we'll get 15 plus 1. It means his fees will be a total of $16 after 60 days. Okay, so it's important for us to find the formula. And in this case, we use a system of equations. We wrote out, in this case, we'll make a full page for you guys to see. We wrote out the formula for A5, which is 2.25 is equal to A1 plus 5 minus 1 times D. We wrote out the formula for A21, 21 days. 6.25 equals A1 plus 21 minus 1 times D. We subtracted a5 from from a21 and we got four dollars equals 16 days to find a d value of 25 cents the a1 values cancel that each other out and then we use our 25 cents our d value into either equation we're giving us a1 of a dollar 25. so and that a1 of a dollar 25 really what that really means in this case is that that's what we would have to pay for replacing the library card actually would it be Hmm. Good question. I think no, it's, it should be should be a dollar. I would say a dollar, not a dollar twenty-five. It would be a dollar. A one would be how much it would cost after one day. So strike that. <laughs> the one twenty-five, the dollar twenty-five would be how much it costs after one day, because a uh, ends one after one day. So the at zero days, it would be in this case the one dollar left over here. So okay, all right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope this is helpful. Okay, and I hope that you guys are. Uh, if you need to watch this over again, definitely to see the technique involved. Is this a system of equations problem? You should expect to see, see this in your quiz. Okay. Hope this you guys watch this. And uh, if you found it helpful, give it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. And definitely watch the other videos. This was definitely a longer question because this was a longer problem. All right. See you in the next video. Take care. Be safe.